but he looked every bit the superstar he should look. Threw a touchdown left-handed while being tackled. Can we can we just can we just take a step back and talk about that for a second? I asked on Friday, I said, you know, Drake's playing well, right? He threw for 414 yards the, the, the previous week, but it was two touchdowns, two interceptions. We had Tim Hasselbeck on, on the show saying that Drake May was not just the best quarterback in this draft. He was the best quarterback in e- e- any of the last 15 drafts. Better prospect than Andrew Luck, Matt Stafford, Cam Newton. And I was going, you know what? I need I need some more superstar plays from someone with that much ability. I need some more, let me put the team on my back plays with someone with that ability. And, and then he went and threw a touchdown left-handed while being tackled in a div- uh, conference game on the road. And it's like, you know what? I asked for superstar plays. How else could that be described than a superstar play? Message sent, message received. I applaud you. Here's your coach, Mac Brown, talking about the left-handed throw. The play that Drake made with his left hands maybe the best play I've ever seen in college football. It's unbelievable. I sat there and looked at it, and I wanted to run it back, and then I looked up at the Jumbotron. I told him at that time, win the game, and it'll be number one on SportsCenter. And um, I think it would have been number one either way, but I, I, I was shocked. I've never seen him even do that. Um, and he just acts like he does it all the time. So, uh, But he's he is really a, a good player. Okay, one thing here. Uh, Mac, calm down. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know if everybody realizes or remembers this. Uh, Mac Brown was the coach of Texas in maybe the greatest college football game ever played when, when Vince Young – beat Matt Leinert and Reggie Bush in that USC team. And I say Vince Young because, yeah, Texas beat USC, but Vince Young beat USC. Uh, that was special. Running for the touchdown on fourth right inside the the pylon. Mm-hmm. I mean, I get Drake May through it with his left hand, but it was a regular season game against Pitt. <laughs> Vince Young might have made six plays. I would put above Drake May throwing it with his left hand. So so Mac may have got caught up in the moment a little bit, calling it like the greatest play of anyone he's ever coached or whatever he just said. But that's not to say it wasn't a superstar play, right? If if I have to sit here and, and invoke Vince Young in that Texas USC National Championship Rose Bowl, you're doing something right. Mm-hmm. Right? You, it, just the fact that, that that is where I had to go, uh, you're doing something right. And what I like about it even more is is they won 41-24, but it wasn't that the whole game, right? Pitt was up 7 nothing. Pitt was up 14-7. And then UNC and that offense re- reminded everybody that they are UNC and that offense. And uh, they put up a bunch of big plays, big plays in the passing game, right? Drake may finish with just the one touchdown pass, but – Big plays taking you down to the the four yard line. Then he ran it in in a couple cases, or one of his teammates ran it in. Um, I'm I'm satisfied, right? I 22 of 30, 296 yards, the left handed touchdown. He also ran for two touchdowns. They end up winning 41 24. I'm satisfied because I wanted superstar plays. Got a couple of them. I'm satisfied because uh, this was the first game that it didn't feel like Tez Walker was hanging over the proceedings. It felt like when I was watching a UNC football game, I was watching a UNC football game. I wasn't watching a bunch of uh, college football players trying to bring awareness to a cause of their, their friend and teammate. Which is fair and I think good for the program. I'm I'm satisfied with what UNC put on the field because it, it felt like they were making steps in the right direction. With that being said, I still feel like UNC has another level above the level that they are playing. They're getting closer, they're moving in the right direction. But if this team figures it out and puts it all together and plays up to the level that that I believe is is within their their realm, within their possibilities. Watch out. Watch out. Right? There were a few different things that uh impressed me. There were a few different things that I was going like, mm, I think they should make that play. 
Now, every team in the history of the world, even that Texas-USC game, that was maybe the greatest college football game ever played, uh, there were some plays where it's like, mm, really should have made that play. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to gonna you know drag them through the the coals because they didn't make every single play they possibly could but it, it's just there's still so much talent on that field and and it's like drake may you make the superstar play all right get, get yourself two regular touchdown passes right get you like it's it's the the patrick mahomes of it all right and i'm not comparing him to patrick mahomes but when you complete a touchdown with your off hand there's not many other people you can compare it to, right? There's, it's not like, oh, well, I could pick from all of these quarterbacks that have completed passes with their offhand while being tackled. There's only a few. Uh, the Patrick Mahomes element is, right, he'll have a season where he throws for 50 touchdowns, which he has had, mm -hmm. and seven of them will be the otherworldly ones that we remember. Right, the ones where he's running full speed horizontally to the line of scrimmage and he flicks his wrist and somehow it's in Travis Kelsey's hands 45 yards downfield into a window the size of a, of a mailbox. Yeah. But then the other 43 are mostly just like open guys, good reads, good throws, right? It's, it's yeah, make the unbelievable, but also make sure you're always making the, the routine. To quote the, the, the great Mike Tomlin, Pittsburgh fan in there, Dennis Cox. Make routine routine plays routinely. Make the routine plays routinely. Then if you're going to make the uh, the astronomical, make the extraordinary, but make the routine plays routinely. Uh, I feel like UNC got more of the, the extraordinary plays against Pitt, but they still probably left too many of the routine plays out there to be made. I want to see them put the two together, right? That's what Mahomes does better than anyone. He puts the routine plays together with the extraordinary plays. Some guys make the like there there is the the um I'm trying to think of a good example of this. Um I think Fitzpatrick was a bit this way. Where Fitzpatrick would make some extraordinary plays, right? The play where there's a face mask and it's turned sideways as he lets it go blind and he completes the pass anyway. But then he also threw a lot of interceptions on plays that should have been routine completions. Like, like you don't want to be that team either. You don't want to make the extraordinary without making the routine. So I'm, I'm still holding out hope that UNC puts it together this year. I'm still holding out hope that before Drake May walks across the stage and holds up the jersey with Roger Goodell, that, that they, they reach the top of their potential. And again, this is a compliment in, in the form of a criticism. Right? Most schools, if you win a, a conference game on the road, 41-24, the radio station in their, their uh, area comes on the next day and it's just it's nothing but, but rainbows and gumdrops and they're setting off little popper fireworks, little pop, you know what I'm talking about? But when, the, when you see something more, you get to be a little bit more harsh.